University Challenge. Asking the questions, Jeremy Paxman. Hello, the game's afoot. Two quarterfinals down, two teams a step closer to the semi-finals, and two more teams playing tonight to secure the first of the two victories they'll need to make the semi-finals. The team from St John's College, Cambridge, may well be hoping for rather stiffer opposition tonight than they've had so far in this competition, just to show us what they're like under pressure. The teams from St Andrews University and Corpus Christi College, Cambridge, didn't do much to make them break sweat. And with only those two matches behind them, their accumulated score is already 540. With an average age of 23, let's meet the St John's team again. Hi, I'm John Clark Levin. I'm from Los Angeles, California, and I'm studying for a PhD in politics and international studies. Hello, I'm Rosie McKeown. I'm from Kingston upon Thames in southwest London, and I'm studying French and German. And their captain? Hi, I'm James Devine Stoneman from Southall in West London, studying for a PhD in superconducting spintronics. Hi, I'm Matt Hazel from Ringwood in Hampshire, and I'm studying veterinary medicine. Now, the team from Ulster University have had ample opportunity to show us grace under fire. They lost their first round match by a mere five points against Edinburgh University, survived as one of the highest scoring losing teams, then to beat St Anne's College Oxford in the playoffs. They then knocked off the University of Warwick in round two by a 30 point margin, with an accumulated score of 505 earned over those three matches. And with an average age of 50, let's meet the well-preserved Ulster team again. <laughs> Hello, I'm Cahill McDade from Boncrana in County Donegal, and I'm studying for a master's degree in English literature. Hi, I'm Kate Ritchie. I'm from Warringstown, County Armagh, and I'm studying fine art. And this is their captain. Hi, I'm Ian Jack. I'm originally from Peterhead in Aberdeenshire, and I'm reading for a PhD in pharmacy. Hi, my name's Matthew Milliken. I'm from Cumber in County Down, and I'm studying for a PhD in education. OK, the rules are the same as ever, so fingers on buzzers. Here's the first starter for ten. What short surname links a trade unionist born in 1864 after whom a new town in County Durham is named? The commander of the Army of Northern Virginia during the American Civil War... St John's Levin. Lee. Lee is correct. You get a set of bonuses on literary figures who served as members of the House of Commons. In each case, I want you to identify the MP from the description. Firstly, for five, the member for Liscard between 1774 and 1780 and for Lymington between 1781 and 1784. In the former period, he published the first of the six volumes of the work of non-fiction for which he is most remembered. Try um, Edward Gibbon. Edward Gibbon. Uh, Gibbon? Correct. Secondly, a playwright who was the member for three constituencies, Stafford, Westminster and Ilchester, at different times between 1780 and 1812, and was appointed Treasurer of the Navy in 1806. Anything on that? Mm, there's a faint memory. Um, try Sheridan, but it's not. Sheridan? Sheridan is correct. Oh. And finally, a French-born writer who was the Liberal Party MP for South Salford between 1906 and 1910. During this time, he published a collection of verse parodies for children. Hilaire Belloc. Hilaire Belloc. Correct. Ten points for this. In astronomy, what seven-letter term is defined as the great circle formed by the intersection of the celestial sphere with a plane perpendicular to... St John's the... Divine Stone. The ecliptic. No, you lose five points. Plane perpendicular to the line from an observer to the zenith. In more general speech, it denotes a boundary or limit, for example, of knowledge or perception. One of you buzzed from Ulster. Ulster Jack. Tangent. That's horizon. Ten points for this. I have spent my life since I first read it trying to solve it. It's incredibly prophetic, full of pre-Freudian insights. These words of Leonard Bernstein refer to which opera or musical drama inspired by two lovers in Celtic legend? Completed in 18... St John's McKeown. Tristan and Isolde. Correct. 
Your bonuses are on art museums. In each case, give the name of the museum and the city in which it's located. Firstly, originally built from the Medici family, which Italian museum's collection includes Gentile de Fabriano's Adoration of the Magi and Titian's Venus of Urbino? Could be the Uffizi in Florence, yeah. Yes. The Uffizi in Florence? Correct. Incorporated in 1870, which American museum's collection includes John Singer Sargent's Portrait of Madam X and Winslow Homer's The Gulf Stream? Try that. Yeah. MoMA, New York. No, it's the Metropolitan Museum of Art, the Met. And finally, housed in a building completed in 1819, which museum's collection includes Titian's equestrian portrait of Charles V and Goya's Saturn devouring his son? Uh, Prado, Madrid. Prado, Madrid. Correct. Ten points for this. <laughs> what letter of the alphabet is used to designate the atmospheric region also known as the Kennelly Heaviside layer? It is responsible for the reflections involved in Marconi's original transatlantic radio communication in 1902. Ulster Jack. X. No, anyone like to buzz from St John's? St John's Divine Stoneman. A. No, it's E. Ten points for this. George I was a doge. George II was a doge. They were what William III, a great man, would not be. Who wrote those words in the 1844 novel Coningsby? On his elevation to the peerage, he was created Earl of Beaconsfield. St John's McKeown. Benjamin Disraeli. Correct. <laughs> These bonuses are on experiments at CERN. Firstly, for five, what five-letter name is given to the general purpose particle detector at the Large Hadron Collider, which, along with the CMS detector, discovered the Higgs boson in 2012? Atlas. Correct. What five-letter name is given to the detector array spread up to half a kilometre around the CMS interaction point? It's designed to study the forward direction region at inaccessible to other LHC experiments. Not sure on this. <laughs> Could you try that? Prism? No, it's totem. Using arguably the cleanest box in the world, the cloud experiment at CERN investigates possible links between cloud formation and what? Um, Magnetism? Oh, something like... Magnetic field? Or it could be like a charged particle, like... I think maybe it's something forming around particles. Uh, around electromagnetic it. fields. No, it's cosmic rays. Ten points for this. It's a picture question. For your picture starter, you will have to tell me the name of the specific body of water highlighted in red here. St John's Levin. The Gulf of Guinea. Correct. <laughs> your picture bonuses are three more alliterative geographical features. Five points for each you can name. Firstly... It's Lake Ladoga. Yes. Lake Ladoga. Correct. Secondly, this specific part of the Gulf of Guinea... Bite of Benin, I think. The Bite of Benin? Correct. And finally... Hook of Holland. Um, um, uh, oh, no, no, no. This no, is no. Massachusetts. Oh, yeah. Um, <laughs> could be Hook Spit. Oh, yeah. Any idea? Massachusetts. <laughs> Come on. No. Um, pass. That's Cape Cod. <laughs> Ten points for this. I need a two-word term here. The diamond water paradox of value that Adam Smith was unable to solve can be explained with the help of which concept referring to the amount of extra satisfaction gained from the last unit of the commodity consumed? St John's Levin. Marginal utility? Yes, that's correct. <laughs> Your bonuses are on films that have won the Academy Award for Best Foreign Language Film. In each case, give the English title under which the film was released and the decade in which it was released. Firstly, Das Leben der Anderen. Uh, the, the Lives of Others. The Lives of Others. The 2000s. Oh, right. in the, yeah, The Lives of Others in the noughties. That's correct, yes. Secondly, Vonya i Mir. Um, <sighs> Any idea? No. Russian? Oh, yeah, pass. It's War and Peace in the 1960s. <laughs> And finally, La Vita e Bella. Uh, life, life is Beautiful, beautiful. 1990s. Life is Beautiful, 1990s. Correct. 
Ten points for this. With masses thought to be less than a millionth of that of an electron, what group of particles were the subject of research that earned Taka Aka Kajita and Arthur MacDonald... St John's Divine Stoma. Neutrinos. Neutrinos is correct. <laughs> These bonuses, St John's, are on the early 20th century political activist Annie Kenny. Born in Lancashire in 1879, Annie Kenny was a leading figure in which specific movement known by a four-letter acronym? The Women's Social and Political Union. Um, the Women's Social and Political Union. Correct, yes. In her work in the WSPU, a biographer says that Kenny's value lay in her total and almost mystical devotion to which person, the eldest daughter of Emmeline Pankhurst? Oh, it's either Sylvia or Christabel. I think Sylvia was older. Sylvia? No, it's Christabel. <laughs> and finally, in Manchester in 1905, Kenny and Christabel Pankhurst were among the first suffragettes to be imprisoned after they heckled which Liberal politician who became Foreign Secretary later that year? Was that Asquith? Was what, he Liberal? What year? Uh, 1905. Let's try Asquith. Asquith? No, it was Sir Edward Grey. Ten points for this. Answer in French or in English. Used in Bernard Shaw's Man and Superman in an imagined conversation between Don Juan and the Devil, what two-word term was also used by the philosopher Henry Bergson to refer to the impetus or spirit that animates living creatures? St John's Levin. Life force or vital force? Life force is correct, the Alain Vital. These bonuses are on a theory of the origin of life, St John's. Independently put forward by Alexander Operin and J.B.S. Haldane, what theory proposes that life began in an ocean of organic molecules on ancient Earth? Oh, that's the um, primordial soup, something oh, like that, is that? Yeah. Um, primordial soup theory? Correct. Published in 1953, which experiment tried to test the primordial soup theory by sending electricity through a mixture of water, methane, Ammonia and hydrogen. Yuri Miller. Yuri Miller, yeah. Yuri Miller. Yeah, the Miller Yuri experiment, yes. Which essential biomolecules did Miller and Yuri manage to synthesize in their experiment? It was an amino, amino, amino acids, acids generally, yeah. Okay. Amino acids. Correct. Ten points for this. In which present day country is the city of Kalish? It gives its name to a statute of 1264 that defined freedoms and safeguards for Jews. Granted by Duke Boleslav the Chaste. St John's McKeown. Poland. Poland is correct. <laughs> Your set of bonuses are on poetry. In classical poetry, the ode is a formal lyric poem with a three-part structure, of which the first two parts are the strophe and the antistrophe. What name is given to the third part? Um, Nominate McKeown. Uh, the panegyric. That's the epode. And secondly, consisting of a verse of 11 lines with the same phrase used in the first, fourth and eleventh lines, what poetic form was developed by Algernon and Swinburne for a collection of 1883? No idea. Pass. That's a roundel. And finally, what poetic form of French origin has its first and third lines each repeated three times in a total length of 19 lines? An example is Dylan Thomas's Do Not Go Gentle Into That Good Night. Villanelle. Villanelle. Correct. <laughs> We're going to take a music round now. You're going to hear a piece of popular music. For ten points, I'd like you to give me the name of its original composer. Birds do it. Ulster Millican. Cole Porter. Correct. <laughs> OK, you're off the mark. Your bonuses are three more performances by Ella Fitzgerald of works from the Great American Songbook. In each case, I want the name of the original songwriter and the title of the song. Firstly... Dressed up like a million-dollar trooper Trying hard to look Put him on the roots. Right. Putting on the roots by Irving Berlin. Correct. Secondly. Mon 
Anything? No. Oh, I'm sorry. That was It Don't Mean a Thing If It Ain't Got That Swing by Duke Ellington. And finally, I want the two writers and the title of this. And oh, if we ever part, then that might break my heart. So if you go for oysters and I go for oysters, I'll order oysters and cancel the oysters, for we know we need each other. With potatoes, potatoes, um, and good. It's um, too right. Worked with the whole thing out. It's worked the whole thing out. Who's that one? Uh, worked the whole thing out. It's worked the whole thing out. It's two. Uh, no. Rogers and Hammerstein. Right. Rogers and Hammerstein worked the whole thing out. No, you were getting there. It's Let's Call the Whole Thing Off by George and Ira Gershwin. Oh. Right, ten points for this. Name either of the Nobel laureates in physiology or medicine in 1923 who shared their prize money with Charles Best and Bertram Collip. The award was made for the discovery of insulin. Ulster Ritchie. Banting. Correct. Banting and Best. the other one was McLeod. Right, you get a set of bonuses this time on the biblical book of Judges, Ulster. The only female judge, which prophet led an attack against the forces of Canaan? She gives her name to an oratorio of 1733 by Handel. Handel. Deborah, she was a, she was a judge. I can, that's the only one I can think of. What happened? I, I don't Handel know oratorio? Anymore. I don't know how to do it. Deborah. Deborah is correct. Secondly, which judge was sent by God to deliver the Israelites from domination by the Moabites? His name is the given name of two Prime Minister of Israel who served after 1999. Oh, I think it's Ehud. Ehud. Correct. Which judge won a decisive victory over a Midianite army? His name was adopted by an international evangelical association Gideon. founded in 1899. Gideon. Gideon is correct. Ten points for this. <laughs> Derived ultimately from the Greek for drum, what six-letter word denotes the quality or character of a sound? Ulster Ritchie. Timbre. Correct. <laughs> you get a set of bonuses on volcanoes this time. Nova Rupta is in the Katmai National Park in which US state? Its eruption in 1912 is often stated as being the largest of the 20th century. Volcanoes in the US states. Hawaii. 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 No, it's Alaska. Ah. Secondly, an eruption of. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. Take it easy. <laughs> Secondly, an eruption of Mount Pele in 1902. Killed about 30,000 people on which Caribbean island situated between Dominica and St. Lucia? Grenada? No, it's Martinique. And finally, eruptions of Mount Pinatubo in 1991 and 92 caused devastation in which country, in addition to widespread stratospheric disturbances? The one in Iceland, the ash cloud? No, it must not. It's not the right name. No, 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 no. It's somewhere in the Indonesia. Indonesia? Yeah. Java or something? Was it? Was he Indonesia? Indonesia. Indonesia. That was the Philippines. Ten points for this. Josephine the Singer, or the Mouse Folk, was the final fictional work of which author? It appeared in a German language publication known as the Prague Press some weeks before his death in 1924. Ulster McDade. Kafka? Kafka is correct. Your bonuses, Ulster, are on organic chemistry. In each case, I need the IUPAC name of the substance. Firstly, I need you to spell a six-letter term here. C6H5OH is the chemical formula of which white soluble substance, also known as carbolic acid? C6H5OH. Is it P-H-E-N-O-L. Correct. Phenyl, P-H-E-N-Y-L, is a group formed from which aromatic hydrocarbon by the removal of one hydrogen atom? Phenyl, 
This is all remote. Mm -hmm. Benzene? Correct. Also known as aminobenzene, which colorless oily organic compound has the formula C6H5NH2? It's used in the manufacture of synthetic dyes. Aniline. Correct. We're going to take another picture around now. For your picture starter, you're going to see a still from a television series. Ten points if you can name it, please. St John's Divine Stoneman. Mad Men. Nope. Uh, Ulster McDade. Twin Peaks. Twin Peaks is right, yes. <laughs> it was uh, co-created, co-written and co-directed by David Lynch. Your picture bonuses show three more examples of directors primarily known for feature films working on the small screen. This time I want both the title of the show and the director in question. Firstly, for five, this show and the man who directed its opening episodes. He continues to be one of the executive producers of the show. House, that's House of Cards. And who executive producer? Oh, was it written by Michael Dobbs? Did he do the, the, the production? The director, Stephen, the director. Uh, House of Cards, Michael Dobbs. Nope, it's uh, House of Cards and David Fincher. <laughs> Secondly, this show and the Oscar-nominated director who co-created, co-writes and co-directs it. I don't know, that's something like one, it's not something like one of the show or it's set in New Zealand. Um, it's a New Zealand director. Jane Campion, maybe? On the shore, Jane Campion? It's top of the lake, Jane Campion. And finally, this show and its Oscar winning executive producer. He also directed the pilot. Boardwalk Empire. Scorsese. Boardwalk Empire Scorsese. Correct. Right, we're going to take another starter question now. From the Russian meaning East, what was the name of the spacecraft in which, on April the 12th, 1961, Yuri Gagarin orbited the Earth for 108 minutes? Ulster Ritchie. Soyuz. No, anyone like to buzz from St John's? St John's Hazel. Mir. No, it's Vostok 1. Ten points for this. Which state of India contains Cape Comorin, the southernmost point of the Indian Peninsula? <laughs> St. John's Divine Stoneman. Tamil Nadu. Correct. <laughs> you get three bonuses on the Danish author, Karen Blixen. Many of Karen Blixen's well-known works were published under what pseudonym, especially in the United States? Isaac Dinnison. Dinnison? Dinnison. Isaac Dinnison. Correct. Secondly, a film based on which of Blixen's short stories won the Academy Award for Best Foreign Film in 1988? The story concerns a French refugee who prepares a meal for her Danish neighbours after she wins the lottery. No, I'm not going to do anything. Uh, pass. That was Babette's Feast. And finally, who won an Academy Award for directing the 1985 film Out of Africa, partly based on Blixen's memoir of her life in colonial Africa? Who could that be? Someone like it's, David uh, Lean? Or is that too... I don't know. Sally no. Meryl Streep. Um, no, it wouldn't be David Lean. No. Uh, Come on. John Ford? Uh, John Ford? No, it was Sidney Pollock. They're about four minutes to go and ten points for this. In organic chemistry, what compound has the empirical formula H2CO? In aqueous solution, it's been used extensively to preserve biological specimens. Ah. Old story tree. Formalin? Formaldehyde, yes. sorry. Yeah, I'll accept that. Mm -hmm. Formalin. <laughs> Here are a set of bonuses for you on cities in the UK, Alster. Of the seven places in Scotland with official city status, which is the most remote in the sense that its distance from the nearest of the other six is the greatest? Oh, it's Inverness. That's miles from anywhere. Yeah. Inverness. Correct. By the same measure, which is the most remote of the five official cities of Northern Ireland? Derry. Derry. It's probably Derry, but Derry. Isn't it Newry, yeah, Belfast. Yeah. Yeah. Derry. It is Derry, yes. Similarly, which is the most remote of the six cities of Wales, irrespective of whether English cities are considered as possible neighbours? Yeah, uh, is it Upper Smith? Because it's the Carnarvon. Carnarvon. Is that a city? Is that a city? Is it? I think it's, it's got a castle in it. Well. St David's. It is St David's. <laughs> Ten points for this. Derived ultimately from the Greek for something assumed, what term is used to describe a subsidiary theorem 
of a more complicated proof, particularly in mathematics. St John's Divine Stoneman. Lemma. Correct. <laughs> These bonuses are on the 17th century parliamentarian John Pym. Firstly, in January 1642, Charles I attempted to arrest for treason how many members of the House of Commons, John Pym among them, in an act that precipitated the Civil War? Mm. Isn't it like 40? Something? something like that, yeah. Probably has a good name. Come on. 40. No, it was five. Oh. In 1626, Pym played a major part in the attempted impeachment of which royal favourite assassinated two years later? The Duke of Buckingham. The Duke of Buckingham. Correct. Which leading advisor of Charles I did Pym call the Wicked Earl? He was executed for treason in 1641. Is it the Earl of Strafford? Could be. The Earl of Strafford? The Earl of Strafford is correct. <laughs> Ten points for this. The words dreary and weary appear in the first line of which 1845 poem? Its title character appears tapping at the chamber door and regularly... Ulster Millican. The Raven by oh. Poe. Yes, you're right. <laughs> 15 points for these bonuses. They're on Italian composers. Which composer died at his villa in Passy on the outskirts of Paris in November 1868? His remains were later reinterred at the Basilica of Santa Croce in Florence. Paganini? I don't know. Paganini. No, it's Rossini. Which composer revised a piece originally written to commemorate Rossini for his requiem for the poet Alessandro Manzoni? It was first performed in 1874. Giuseppe Verdi. Correct. Which composer adapted melodies by Rossini for the 1918 ballet La Boutique Fantasque, or The Magic Toy Shop, choreographed by Leonid Massine? Piccini. No, it's very speedy. And at the gong, Oscar University had 130, but St John's College came to have 185. Well, Oscar, you're going to have to come back again and you're going to have to win to stay in the game. But it was an absolute treat to hear a man from Fraserburgh. You're from Fraserburgh, aren't you? Peterhead. Peter Head, sorry, yes. Describing Inverness as being miles from anywhere. <laughs> <laughs> very good. Uh, St John's, many congratulations. Another storming performance from you. We should look forward to seeing you again, too. You only have to win one more time to go through to the semi-finals. I hope you can join us next time for another quarter-final. But until then, it's goodbye from Ulster University. Goodbye. goodbye. It's goodbye from St John's College, Cambridge. Goodbye. 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 And it's goodbye from me. Goodbye. <laughs>